Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. The waiting for the Dodge Challenger SRT Demon 170 to debut was rather long but it was well worth the wait. The muscle car was shown for the first time just yesterday when the automaker detailed its heavily modified engine and amazing performance numbers. Now, through this video from the vehicle's launch, we get to see the new Demon in action at the drag strip where it belongs. The video you see attached at the top of this page is the actual debut livestream from yesterday. Dodge held the so-called Dodge Last Call Festival, where the new Demon was unveiled. In front of a big audience at the Las Vegas Speed Motorway, the drag-focused machine made its first public appearance, showing what it is capable of on the drag strip. This standing start run probably wasn't the best the car can do but nevertheless, Dodge showed the acceleration and quarter-mile numbers it lists as official for the model on the board. On a prepped drag strip, the Demon 170 can hit 60 miles per hour in just one. 66 seconds and complete the quarter-mile discipline in an NHRA-certified 8. 91 seconds at 151. 17 miles per hour. But even if the numbers didn't actually match what we see in this particular run, the car was mighty fast and sounded absolutely stunning. That engine roar came from the heavily modified 6.2-liter V8 engine under the hood, which produces up to 1.025 horsepower at 6, 500 rpm and 945 pound-feet of torque at 4, 200 rpm when running on E85 fuel. Even on E10 gasoline, the output is still 900 horsepower and 810 lbft. This is possible thanks to a number of significant hardware upgrades to the engine, which only keeps the camshaft in its original form. Our full coverage of the new Challenger Demon 170 is in the related links above and we are happy to get an early glimpse of what this monstrous muscle car is capable of on the drag strip. We can't wait to see it actually race other performance vehicles, though. As a reminder, just 3.000 units will be assembled for the US and 300 for Canada. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel for more auto updates.